Hey guys, and welcome back to day four of my five days of fades. Today we are doing fashion, which is very exciting. So before we head on in, I'm just gonna show you what I'm wearing now. So I have on my Mia Coda tee, I have just uh, tied it in the back. The jeans are from Siwi. I will link the style down below. The shoes are, um, well, Invisible. For jewelry, I have on my uh, Jenny Bird earrings. There's an R on this one and an H on this one. And then my Owen Spired necklace. I guess these are kind of all faves. I am wearing them after all. And the other fave that I wanted to mention is this ring here, which is an antique ring Adam got me when we were in England. I feel like it goes well with the rest and I love it. So all that being said, let's head in. If you have not watched the previous three days of my five days of faves, I will link them down below. Maybe you might want to watch them first, I don't know. And as I've already mentioned in those, I'm doing things a little bit differently this year. I'm trying to be more uh, deliberate, uh, less items, and just ones that I absolutely love. So we're here in my closet, we're doing a fashion video. It's a little bit nostalgic. <laughs> Everything I'm mentioning will be linked and listed in the description box. Takes me forever, please enjoy it. If at any point you do enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. I hope that you guys aren't having too much holiday fatigue and um, let's get into the video. So I'm also gonna go ahead and link you guys to my winter fashion video, which I did not that long ago. I have some really great picks in there. So that's kind of like half the year's worth of my favorites anyway. And um, let's move on to the first thing. Shameless self-promotion. It is the Rian mini tote that I designed with Samara bags. Had to be a favorite. It's my dream size and shape of bag. Comes in five colors now, and uh, I think a couple of them are sold out, but I'm hoping that we will restock soonish. Vegan leather, it was a joy to do. I can say that I helped design a bag this year, which is very exciting, so this is a fave. I'll be on my way. Speaking of bags, another favorite this year has been this kind of travel backpack from Kara. Kara. I have talked about this one a bunch. You can wear it a ton of different ways. You can have it as a duffel, a backpack. I can fit so much in it. And like I said, I've mentioned it before, so I'm not gonna go into it too much. Incredibly usable space for such a small bag. And every time I've been traveling, I've been reaching for it. I like that it can be a backpack because it leaves me hands free when I'm in the airport. They do have the same style, which has leather details instead of the faux leather. So just keep an eye out for that. And I will link you to the vegan one in the description. But this had to be in this year's favorites because I've used it a lot and it's been a favorite. All right, and then I think this is the last one for bags, which is my Sol and Celine fanny pack honestly it's it's just do you see how sensible this is i've been waiting my whole life to find the perfect fanny pack waist bag thing i wanted something that was obviously i was able to put a lot in and it was good quality and it was gonna hold up but also i didn't want it to be super ugly so this is perfect because it's black on black on black little pouch in the front is this in frame i hope so and then the big pouch here so i've been reaching for it if we are going uh out for the day like with friends for the fourth of july stuff like that uh and i want to just carry a few things with me have my hands free to wave them around and um it's great i mean do i leave this on for the rest of the video I should probably take it off something i've been wearing a lot is this black uh you matter hoodie so it has the you matcher embroidered on the front in black again and then on the wrist it says i feel weak but i know i'm strong is that what it says yes <laughs> i don't know if this one is even still available but it's definitely been a favorite for me this year i got the size medium because i wanted it pretty oversized i think these are like a unisex um style nicely made and i've just been i've been wearing it a lot so it's been a fave not sure what else to say. It's a hoodie. Hmm. So besides the t-shirt I have on, I've also been loving some other Mia Coda items. I did just do an IGTV video where I showed you seven outfits using all of their basics. So um, this t-shirt is one of them. I do, like I said, I just have it tied up. Um, otherwise it's just like a regular unisex shape. And otherwise, the high-waisted legging has been a favorite. Super comfortable, breathable, but also like tight-ish and supportive, if you know what I mean. 
um, very soft and it has a little pocket in the waistband. I've been wearing them a ton, I've been talking about them a ton. You're probably tired of hearing about them. Another one are their shorts, which again, I've shown recently, so you probably don't need to hear about them again. Super comfortable, whether you're gonna work out or maybe go for a hike or just wear them and be comfortable around the house. These are beautiful. And then the pièce de résistance, the Mia Coda sweatpants. These are the Terry joggers, I think it's what they're called. Oh my gosh. Imagine that you had the perfect pair of vintage men's, you know they're always more comfortable, sweatpants that happen to be tailor-made for your body and um, felt like a dream cloud. That's these. Not much else to say. I have a size medium. They're unisex. They're great. I love them a lot. Like I mentioned, I've been trying to buy so much less when it comes to clothes, really find ways to use what I already own or maybe thrift. And one site that I came across, some of you guys had told me about it and then I saw Raw Beauty Christie had bought from them and worked with, the, bleh, worked with them. Um, and that is the website ThreadUp. So it's basically a online thrift store. It's great because there's no, there's no search engine in an IRL thrift store. There is on this one. So because I wanted to get a few different tops to wear in videos and stuff, it's nice to change it up even though I am trying to be more um, conscious of how much I'm consuming. So I figured this was a good way to go. It's inexpensive, they've already been owned. Um, so I just went on there and searched for off-shoulder tops in my size and came up with a bunch of cute ones. So this is what I had on in the Christmas Eve video, which I know you've already watched. And then these were some of the others. They're all off the shoulder because that's what I searched for. This little one, this mustard one. I mean, this is like, this is super nice. And then, whoops, this black one and then this kind of like antique pink velvet. So I think it's awesome. You're still gonna be able to find those cute styles. This way at least you're buying already purchased or already owned items and um, I've been super impressed so far. So I wanted to mention that to you guys because not only is it more eco-friendly, but it's also more um, economically friendly. Eco-eco-friendly. Oh my gosh, this video is gonna be short. Another awesome thing I picked up this year was that I finally found my dream vegan hiking boots. I liked them so much that I ended up getting the kind of trail runner style from the brand too, and they are from Will's Vegan Shoes. I'm gonna pop clips in for you now so you can see them, but they're super comfortable, well-made. Um, the hiking boot is obviously waterproof, so that's nice. I've worn them in the snow as well. They are comfortable, but they're also snug enough that they're gonna hold your foot and your ankle nicely. And the trail runner, again, so comfortable. I brought them with me on my last trip to England, wore them like just walking around the town and also when we were hiking. Had to mention those because I know a lot of us were kind of on the same quest for the vegan hiker of our dreams and for me these have been it so had to mention those. And then the last thing is just some jewellery and I've already shown you half of it because I'm wearing it. So I guess the only other ones, I get asked about these a lot, can you even see them? Anyway, it's the Love Hoops. I will try and put a picture in so you can see them close up. And they, again, are from Jenny Bird. I have purchased stuff from them and they've also sent me some stuff. I find all their stuff is really cute, good quality, and um, kind of simple, but with a little twist. I guess we're done. I feel like I should pull some other things out to show you, but honestly, I actually feel quite good that this was a short video um, because it means I've been consuming less. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I will meet you down there. Make sure and come back tomorrow for the final five days of faves, which is wild card. So there's going to be some really random things in there. And yeah, I guess that's it. I'll love you and leave you. Bye.